Hundreds gathered in front of the National Air and Space Museum on Tuesday, June 5th, to watch Venus and the Earth align. Venus, the brightest planet in our solar system, passed right in front of the Sun for nearly seven hours. This is known as the Venus Transit, and no one alive today will ever witness this phenomenon again. It happens in pairs of transits eight years apart, separated from each other by 105 or 121 years. The last transit was in 2004, and the next will not happen until 2117. You know, these transits, they're a nice opportunity to sort of just, you know, observe the mechanism of the universe, the solar system, to actually look at it yourself with your own eyes. Well, we came to the Air and Space Museum because it's been the most popular place in the United States, supposedly, to see the uh, spectacular Venus crossing the sun, and obviously, we clearly see is nothing but clouds in the good old D.C. area, so we're here just watching people watch the clouds. <laughs> Less the clouds would be, be much beautiful. better. Not ideal for viewing the sun <laughs> by any means, but thankfully the technology allows us to view the sun and the transit uh, in other ways other than just through, you know, with the naked eye or with a telescope. Uh, so, yeah, it's cool that we can do that. So. Every time you see a planet orbiting in front of, in between our vantage point from Earth, and in between the stars, it will block out a certain amount of light. So, this red line that you're going to see up here detects, this is how much light we're detecting here on Earth from this star. Each one of these dips means that this one of these planets is in transit, because every time it's in transit, which means it's in between our vantage point and the sun, it blocks out a certain amount of light. I thought it was really awesome. I'm glad I got to come into the museum and see it because it's so cloudy outside. I didn't have a solar viewer, so I was happy to be able to have some questions answered and hear a little about it too.